One of the cool things about using a spreadsheet is automatic numbering. I'm going to type a 1 and a 2. And if I highlight the pattern, you'll see that the fill square shows up in the bottom right hand corner. And I can grab the fill square and pull it down. I can do this with any pattern. 5 and 7. Use the fill square, pull it down. How about Monday and Tuesday? Highlight the pattern. Use the fill square in the corner. Pull it down and it completes the days of the week. I can also split text. Notice that I have the first and last names together in column A. I'm going to go up to the data menu and I choose split text to columns. And you notice what is in between the first and the last name is a space. I'm going to choose space and split the first and last names up automatically. When using a Google form, it's awesome. But once I've looked at the timestamps, it gets in my way as I'm trying to read through the spreadsheet. So I'm going to hover over column A. I'm going to find this tiny triangle in the column indicator. I'm going to click on it so I can choose hide column. When looking at spreadsheet data, notice that I have the student's name in the left-hand column here. And as I scroll to the right, who am I looking at? I lose their name as I scroll to the right. Notice I have also, I'm going to click this little arrow, I've taken the timestamp and the email address. Right click, hide columns, so I don't have to look at the timestamp and the email as I'm reviewing student answers. I'm going to highlight the column, I'm going to go to the view menu and choose freeze, and freeze up to the current column so that when I go scrolling to the right, I don't lose the first name. Alternatively, I can grab the freeze bar. Notice over here between the awesome box and the column indicator is the blue line when I hover and it turns into a grabby hand. I can grab the freeze bar and pull it over so I can freeze that first column quickly and easily. And one of my favorite things is to use an equal sign to do cell referencing. Notice when I change one cell, they all change. So what I simply do is I type equals and I click on the cell that I want to reference so whatever is in B4 shows up in E3. I'm going to change this to cat and they all change to cat. Now what's really cool is when I add a new sheet and I type equals and I go over to a different tab and I click on the cell, I'm cell referencing to a different sheet and I can see the response show up in this sheet. So when I change the reference, it shows up with the value on the other sheet.